Roseanne Barr breaks her silence, reveals the actual reason why she was fired by US4Trump.com. Oh, wow. Roseanne is telling why she was fired, and it's a no-holes-barred Hollywood tell-all. Roseanne was axed from ABC in May of 2018 after her new comeback show, Roseanne, was skyrocketing in the ratings. They don't like that either, believe you me. Uh, but Roseanne left her guard down. Roseanne made a tweet about Valerie Jarrett, who was Obama's advisor and uh, held great influence over America, you see. Furthermore, in, the, in a now deleted tweet, Roseanne tweeted that Valerie Jarrett resembled uh, uh, the, if the Muslim Brotherhood in Planet of the Apes uh, had a baby equals Valerie Jarrett. She used Valerie's initials in the tweet. Uh, however, Roseanne's tweet was regarding a fact worth noting as uh, U.S. News states Valerie Jarrett was born in Iran. Moreover, uh, there's the whole Iran deal scandal during the Obama era, which uh, benefited Iran and not Americans. Shortly after the tweet, Roseanne receives a call from ABC uh, uh, executives, and Roseanne tells us what they said to her. First, she welcomes us to her own studio where she can speak uh, without the filter of the biased media. Uh, next, Roseanne tells us what her statement is and tells us uh, that it was my statement from the very beginning and will continue to be forever because it is the truth. Then she used the exact words ABC used when they called her to explain her egregious and unforgivable tweet. Roseanne then says, I told them I thought Valerie Jarrett was white. Furthermore, a short, yeah, and she does look white in the picture if you really want to know. Furthermore, a short 40 minutes later, Roseanne tells us uh, her very successful show was canceled before even one advertiser pulled out and I was labeled a racist, which is a crock of bullcrap. In a rhetorical question, Roseanne asks why you ask and continues. Well, the answer is simple. It's because I voted for Donald Trump and that's not allowed in Hollywood. And she is absolutely correct because you can see the difference with Whoopi Goldberg and her nasty, arrogant, uh, arrogant uh, uh, way that she came out and spoke uh, to Judge Janine. And even after the fact, she's an arrogant you-know-what. And I am going to call up the, the, uh, the people from Procter & Gamble. That I am going to do because I buy a lot of their products every week, and I'm going to tell them that I, I, I'm very upset with how they're, they're putting their money where it shouldn't belong, because mostly conservatives are the ones cleaning their homes and not the liberal idiots. They're out in the streets with uh, uh, just protesting, and they look like they haven't taken a bath in over a month, so, I mean, let's just be honest here, okay? I'm calling up uh, Procter & Gamble, you know, because the treatment is totally the opposite when you're a conservative. That's the bottom line, whether we like to believe it or not. We have to pull our money out of these companies that are representing these uh, liberal sites and not, uh, uh, you know, sticking up for conservative sites. And I'm pissed, too. The same thing is I'm pissed because, uh, you know, like you don't see uh, Downey and Bounty uh, and Clorox and all of those things advertised on my channel. No, they save those, for, those advertisements for the liberal channels. And we get advertisements that are not like the the popular brands. You see what I'm saying? Once you go to a liberal channel, you'll see Procter and Gamble all over the place. And I'm going to call them up because the money I have spent on Procter and Gamble, I'm going to tell them because enough is enough. I'm saying it again. Enough is enough. 
let's take a listen to Roseanne because sometimes I can go off. I get so aggravated. Hi, this is Roseanne Barr. And I'd like to welcome you to my own studio where I'm able to speak for myself to my fellow and sister Americans without the filter of the biased media. This was my statement from the very beginning and it will continue to be forever because it is the truth. When ABC called and asked me to explain my egregious and unforgivable tweet, I told them I thought Valerie Jarrett was white. And I also said, and I'm willing to go on The View, Jimmy Kimmel, or whatever other show you want me to go on and explain that to my audience. Now, instead what happened was about 40 minutes after that, my show was canceled before even one advertiser pulled out and I was labeled a racist. Why, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. It's because I voted for Donald Trump and that is not allowed in Hollywood. She's absolutely correct. It's not allowed in Hollywood. Absolutely correct. Because the fact is they didn't want an explanation. You see, the, uh, what did she say in that statement? Because I'm not going to say it. In her statement, this is who is part of controlling America. Do you get where I'm going? Okay. And it had nothing to do with something about her being black. The whole thing is there's a lot of pull for this, uh, what she stated in that tweet. And they didn't want an explanation from Roseanne. They didn't want an explanation. And Whoopi Goldberg was the one that pushed uh, ABC to fire Roseanne immediately. You see what I'm saying? And also Michelle Obama was involved in this also. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.